God made us free so that we could let his only son develop the world through us. But we chose to ignore him and develop the world for ourselves. He knows there's nothingness apart from him. And he knew we'd initially corrupt the human organism through misuse. So he remade you and me in a parallel universe. You can tap into that fact by recognizing it and living accordingly. Only the maker can remake the product. So we all live as broken organisms in a broken organism. But both we and it have been remade by our maker in eternity, outside time, as expressed in 29 AD by his son's crucifixion and resurrection. We can escape the present unreality of our world and ourselves by simply rejecting the one and choosing the other. You alone can decide to put your faith in your maker's fulfillment of your abilities rather than your enjoyment of leisure to do what you want. The first leads paradoxically to enlargement while the second leads to shrinkage. That's the choice you have as you think of your work. Do you, for instance, assume that there is no God that is personally interested in you or your security? Or do you assume that you have a loving Father who made you so that His Son can live in you and develop the world through you by your work. After all, there just has to be some reason why there's no one else in the whole world like you. That's what our latest DNA research is finding. Scientists now say that of the 20,000 genes that run your whole being, 0.010% have never occurred in the same way as they do in you. Not in anyone that has ever lived or is living today. You are actually unique. The Maker has made no one else like you. Which is what His Son, Jesus Christ, implied when He said that every hair of your head is numbered. When our Maker turned to his son and said, let us make man in our image, he knew that he would have to make billions of people like his son to express his own infinitely varied nature. So you are alive and different from everyone else so that our maker's son can express through you some likeness of his father that none of the rest of us possesses. Christ's Apostle Paul put it like this, We are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works that God has prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. In other words, God will fill the earth and subdue it through work that his Son will do through you that he will not do through anyone else in just the same way. Two mighty operations are going on in this planet. One is the clear demonstration of what life is like without God. The world is deteriorating and declining in all kinds of ways. But the other operation is the uplifting and restraining work that our Maker's Son has been given to do. And this work He can do only through your physical presence. So you are here so that Christ can do through you a work that He can do through no one else. When you wonder what you should do with your life, you simply find out 
what things the Son of God can do through you to fill the earth and bring it into the order and beauty God has in mind. The last thing you need to concern yourself with is your food and shelter because God's Son has said your Heavenly Father knows you need all these things and he feeds the birds and clothes the flowers himself. Thank you.